Hey garden friends, we are heading out to the greenhouse. It was supposed to snow last night and thankfully it didn't. Just got some rain, probably about an inch I think in the latest storm and I'm happy with that. So looky here, the update on my little greenhouse for the winter. This is well, my regular greenhouse. The other one is to my left, but um, we've got the cover on. Now this is a greenhouse tarp cover and it should last like five years. Whereas the sheets, sheeting I was getting, the clear sheeting, it only would last the year and then we'd have to throw it away. So this uh, is a, an improvement on that. We haven't been able to fix it entirely. And if we do get snow, the trees above drop snow bombs and bust out the panels. So this is how we're fixing that this year. Now it has these um, grommets and then I got these little um, bungees with the holes and then they're strapped down to keep it tight. And so far it's great. Should keep it a little bit warmer too. Let's head on in. I've got something to talk to you about. Yes, it's a disaster. And I'm going to set up my heater. So let me do that first so I'm not freezing while we're talking. I'm just turning on my heater, one second. Hey garden friends, I want to talk to you about something today that is appearing in my home. And I know that a lot of people struggle with this and that is fungus gnats and how do you control them safely? So let's get rolling and let's get rid of those fungus gnats. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and or share with your friends. They may like this information and it may be helpful to them. Also, there is a post on my blog all about controlling fungus gnats and the different methods that I have tried and what's working. So you can check that out there if you so wish. Welcome back to Flower Patch. So I found finally after trial and error a method that works for me and you may find it works for you too. And it's very easy. Simple, simple, or they are very simple. There's a two-pronged approach, I guess you would call it, that I use very effectively. So what are fungus gnats? They're in these families of bugs, and I'll put the names up on the screen because I cannot pronounce them, that's for sure. And they're small and grayish black, and they're delicate winged creatures. Many confuse them with fruit flies and or tiny mosquitoes, which they do resemble those, but they aren't those. They're a whole problem unto themselves. So if you've noticed these little black flies coming up out of your house plants when you water, you probably have fungus gnats. Well, you're wondering if these little pesky critters are harmful to your plants. And I have to say, yes, they are very harmful. They can spread fungus between your plants and or your seedlings that can kill them. So that's a huge problem, especially if you're like me and you start a lot of plants from seeds and those seedlings are very, very delicate and they can't, um, what do you say, put up with an attack like that. Fungus gnats lay a lot of eggs and then those lay eggs turn into larvae which they chew on the roots of your plants and that weakens them. So it is critical to control these bugs and to protect the health of your house plants and your seedlings. So let's talk about what hasn't worked for me and then what has. First of all, what hasn't worked for me? Uh, some have recommended putting sand on the top, the surface of your potted plants, and that didn't work for me. The little critters, instead of going in the top, they went in through the bottom, and I, I still had issues. Another one that I, I tested, but I can't really say for sure that it worked for me. Um, I can test it a little more, but I've heard people that use a diluted strength of hydrogen peroxide and they water the plants with it. Um, Number one, that's not totally organic because there are, not toxins, but elements in the 3% peroxide that you buy at the store that are not organic. But I haven't noted an effectiveness that is enough to please me. 
So what else? Um, sand that people, some people like to use neem oil. I'm, I didn't like it for the smell and that bothered me. So that, I can't say that was totally ineffective. It's just, I didn't like it. And if you're sensitive to odors like I am, then it's not a good alternative. And I'm not a big, big fan. People use neem oil a lot as an organic pesticide, etc. You need to note that it is not completely uh, safe. It is, can kill on contact. Uh, so sand, the hydrogen peroxide, what is the other ones? Uh, letting your plants dry out. Now that is one that is counterintuitive for me because like my peace lilies or whatever, they like being kept moist. They don't like drying out. And so that harms the plant in itself. And that, if you have seedlings, that stresses the seedlings. So you can't, that doesn't work for those things. So you need to find an, an alternative. So those are the things, the drying out, the sand, neem oil, hydroperoxide. Okay, I've gone through, I think, the list. On my blog post, I probably have all of them listed that I might be forgetting now. So you can refer over to there whenever you feel like it. So what has worked for me? Well, number one is yellow sticky traps. Now this is the one, these come in these shapes. And I was showing it before and then I had to redo this, but it has the paper on it. You peel the paper off. It has it on both sides, the sticky stuff, very sticky. And then you stick it in your plant. See that? Now I do one side at a time because the fungus gnats usually aren't coming up the back. They come up out of the soil as you water. And so they get stuck on the yellow. And for some reason they're attracted to yellow or so everyone says. And I buy them, this one I got off Amazon and it had 48, it was like $6. And then there's also, I've bought sheets of them where I then trim them into smaller sizes. And they have little things where you could stick them like this. You stick it, uh, it's like a stake and you stick it on the plant. But I usually just peel off one side and I lay it on the edge of the plant. I just like doing it that way. Um, so both of these are available online, but at the garden center, this is the ones I found, the big sheets. I didn't find these in uh, garden centers, but you may be able to. I put a link to them in the description box below where I found them on Amazon. So sticky trap, that, does, that takes care of the adults. So then the larvae. The larvae, mosquito bits. Believe it or not, they are very effective at killing the larvae and maybe even the eggs. I don't know for sure. Let me get my glasses on. I was reaching for them on my head. But I wanted to read to you the instructions because it, it says, yeah, it says gnat larvae on here. It says, fungus, it says, fungus gnats are common, a common pest problem, especially with high organic moisture content, high organic and moisture content in growing media or soil. For use in growing media or soil of house, garden, and landscape plants and home mushroom beds. Uh, this says mix four tablespoons of mosquito bits per one gallon of water, soak for 30 minutes, and skim off the floating granules. I'll tell you why in a minute for about the granules. So stir or shake the water, then apply treated water directly to soil or growing media surface. Compost or discard used granules this treatment controls fungus gnat larvae present in the soil at the time of application. Repeat weekly for three weeks. Repeat treatment again if fungus gnats reappear. Now, why you wanna skim off the excess of the uh, crumbs? They also have the dunks, mosquito dunks, which would work. But if you get those bits on top of your soil, it molts and mildews and you don't want that. And so since the water is effective enough, that's the way to go with that. So I've been using the mosquito bits for a few years and, and it really, really seems to work. The mosquito bits with the yellow sticky traps are a great well-rounded approach. So you get the adults and the larvae and that really helps to keep them in check. Now, why do I not say that you get rid of totally your fungus gnats or the fungus gnats. And that's because of your potting soil, plants you buy from a garden center or nursery, they can be infested. And it's nobody's fault. It's not like people aren't taking care of the plants or that the soil is bad. 
it is the potting soil, no matter if it's a, a store brand generic or a high end, higher end, more expensive potting soil, the conditions are perfect for foil, foil fungus gnats and they're stored outside. And so the fungus gnats are gonna go for it anywhere that it's at. So it doesn't matter where you buy the potting soil. It doesn't matter what potting soil. Perfect conditions, the soil, the fungus gnats are gonna get in it. And when you bring it home, you're gonna bring it home. When you pot up new plants, you're gonna get fungus gnats. The same with house plants or other plants you buy, the fungus gnats are in there. So, and the larvae and the eggs. So it's you will always, as long as you're bringing home plants, as long as you're bringing home potting soil, you will contend with the fungus gnats. So go for the mosquito bits and the yellow sticky trap to help control them safely. Now the mosquito bits, that's made with BT, which is a safe product and you can go ahead and use it on the plants. So in my blog post, I also talk about pasteurizing the soil, the potting soil. You can do this in your oven, get one of those big foil pans, like you get a turkey or to cook a big turkey in that are disposable to uh, aluminum foil. Uh, you know, it. on my blog post, I have all the instructions on how to do that, if that's a route you would like to go. Um, I also have poured hot water through the potting soil that is sitting in a sieve so the water drains out so that kills it off immediately before I pot up new plants but it's so easy to do the mosquito bits and the yellow sticky traps that I no longer bother doing that but if you want the complete instructions again I have a link to the blog post in the description box below. So I think that's it friends I think I've explained all of my tips and tricks for combating fungus gnats in your house plants. Even I have, I get them out here in my greenhouse. So every month or so I'll water with the mosquito bit water and control them out here. So I hope you enjoyed this video. You learned something and, or if you have any other techniques that you have found effective, then please do share in the comments below. I always love learning new things and testing them out. And you know, a lot of times, some things may not work for me, but they may work for you. So don't be afraid to do your own testing and share, share with me. All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. Come on back. Please again, give it the thumbs up and or share with your friends.